Alright guys, today we're going to do a carburetor on a Gen Generac uh, 1200 uh, generator. There's the model. And uh, that's what it is. GP1200i inverter generator. Alright, first thing we're going to do is pull out this uh, Phillips or flathead screw. Now we're going to take out these two 8mm nuts. And we're going to pull this straight off. It'll come off of that and this tube, it'll pull right off. Pop this out of the way. This will pull right off. You can leave it right in here or whatever. It's not a big deal. It's just kind of in the way. Then the uh, carburetor, we're going to pull straight out. Oh, actually pull the fuel line off. Now this carburetor slider off. Just get these gasket out of your way. Carburetor slide right off. We're not going to mess with all this wire. We're going to leave that on there. Do not take it off. This is not that big of a deal. Be careful of this gasket. You don't break it. Leave it right on there. If it sticks on there, leave it on there. I'm just going to flip this upside down. Take the bowl off. All right, so this one's just slammed full of bad gas. It's not even that dirty. But a bad gas, it won't fire. It's just thick. It's not even, it's just thick. So if the O-ring comes out and it's still on that bowl, leave it there. Don't pull it off or it'll swell up on you and you'll wish you never had. All right, um, in the description, I'll put the new carburetors. They've got them in the uh, Amazon. Um, everything you'll need to do this job so if it does swell up it's not a big deal I, I, I'll put all the parts in the description below alright now we're gonna go ahead and remove this pin and pull this float and needle valve out make sure you check the tip of the needle valve make sure it's not swollen or you know cracked or anything like that alright now we're getting to the good part of it alright this is the main jet right here there's a main jet in there. We gotta spray that out. We gotta spray this hole and this hole out. You spray them all the way through. Also, underneath here, this take this uh, idle screw out. It's eight full or uh, it's four full turns out. So when you take it out, you can pop this one out from underneath it. Clean this jet. It's an idle jet. It'll surge if you don't clean this. And then put this back in until it's snug and then bring it uh, four full turns out. Also, make sure you spray through this and this. Make sure that they're clean and clear. This is the idle screw. This is the jet that's underneath it. You're going to spray through that and make sure that it's clean as well. Alright, and you see you drop it back in there. It's got two flat sides. That's how it goes in. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and set the uh, needle valve and float, make sure it's good and clean. You stick it, it holds right in there nicely on this. You stick it right down into the hole. Then you put the pin back in to hold it in place. Make sure the bowl is good and clean. Have the drain pointing towards the choke arm or even towards the, uh, the pin on the float. So it goes back in like this. Make sure you do not lose this gasket. It has to go in between here and here in the carburetor and the engine. If it tears, it's okay. Uh, in the description, there'll be a whole kit with new gaskets, everything. Or in, in a pinch, you can use Indian head. It's a shellac. You can get it in any auto parts store and you just shellac it on both sides and put it back in. All, you know, make sure all the pieces are in there in, in kind of lined up and even and the shellac will stick them in place and when you put it on there it'll seal it all up so that you won't you know you won't have a leak and you'll be able to make it through a, a power outage type of deal but just try your best not to mess with it. it sometimes it sticks here sometimes it sticks here just leave it on all right now once you got the bolt in you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna put this back in place while you're trying to get this in place when you're putting this in place you're going to feed the fuel line into it at the same time you're pushing it in because the fuel line is very short and you don't have much room to work on it. So as you're bringing it back in, you'll hold the fuel line to it 
and then you just push it back in and get the fuel line on it at the same time. Now these hoses are just drains, they just go into the bottom of the, uh, you can put them right here in this little uh, drain section um, for the oil. That way it just drains right out this hole if it overflows or anything. Go ahead and check your oil. It should be at the top of your threads, at the top of that, that stick. It, your, your oil should be full up to the top. Do not tilt it back to fill it. Sitting just like this, check your oil. You're there. Oil goes all the way to the top of these check marks where it's full, right to there. Oil is only good for about 75 hours in these, 75 hours of run time. So change your oil often. It's very easy to change your oil in these. You pull this thing out. Oh, it's a bigger pain in the butt to get this in. So make sure you don't cross thread these. They're, they cross thread really easy. So you take this out and then you tilt this on its side. You just tilt it over like this and let it drain out the hole into a, a bottom of a five gallon bucket or something. You just put it on the side of the table and drain it out. It's only three quarters of a quart. So it's not a big deal. All right, now we got this. We're gonna go ahead and put this gasket on right here like that and then we're gonna go ahead and put this hose into this hole where I pulled it out easy peasy then you set this up you're gonna line it up the, the two holes sometimes these little metal spacers come out make sure that they're in this line it up to the hose you may have to use a flat screwdriver to kind of pry it up over this lip, but you get it on there, it'll actually shove right in once you get it lined up. Just like that, use a flat head, then you can push this right in, and it's done. Boom. Then put your two 8 millimeter nuts on. It's a good time to also pull your air filter out. You just push this button down and pull the cover out. And check your air filter, make sure it's clean. If it's disintegrating get rid of it it's better to run it without an air filter for an emergency situation and with all the disintegrated parts flying into it um, I'll put the air filters in the description below as well uh, that way you can order a new one of those usually it comes in the kit with the carburetor and stuff like that we'll check and make sure um, all right now after all this is all back together and it's good put these two bottom slots into these you know put these little tabs in these bottom slots lift this back up make sure the choke is about halfway so that it'll go nice in and tighten it down Alright guys, this helped you out in any way, shape, or form. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Uh, any of the parts you need are going to be in the description below. Today's t-shirt will be in the description below as well. God.